What's your take on like, optimism and pessimism? Oh, I have a fucking hell of a take on that. You want a yeah. shot at the title? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll finish clean you up, off. Play, yeah. play, play clean, clean up. up. Yeah. Didn't we play finish that earlier off. this morning? <laughs> oh, he finished me off too. Yeah. <laughs> we have a totally... He's already finished himself off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actual physical love. We yeah. put, this is a fucking show we put on. It's for all people. financial. Yeah, she usually just looks at my dick and laughs and walks off. <laughs> Which is so hot to me because I love being demeaned. I'm just jerking off to that idea. Tweezers, microscope. Uh, alcohol love pad, it. it's all there. Yeah, uh, that's my stack. <laughs> um, optimism and pessimism, I think, are both delusional. By definition, I think we should all be aiming for realism. But the cool thing about realism, or the interesting thing about it, is that depending on what issue you're discussing, depending on your position in the world, realism can seem to the external eye as often grossly pessimistic. Uh, or Pollyanna level optimistic. So on the pessimistic front, if you take a reasonable view of, let's say, the state of collegiate education in the United States, mm -hmm. you'll realize that the vast majority of collegiate education in the United States works by a signaling mechanism where colleges in the US largely, not entirely, but largely, they're not learning a whole lot that's gonna pertain to fucking shit. It's actually, don't, they're not pouring skills down your throat, you're just going through the motions to demonstrate to people that you can show up to class on time and take a test and you're pretty smart. Mm -hmm. And that's four years and $90,000 later. Yeah. It's something that we could have assessed in four months of employment internship is really just being done at grotesque expense to all of society. It's, it's a grand illusion. You say that's a pessimistic take. It's a realistic take. Sometimes realism is fucking gnarly. Mm -hmm. But then there are insane optimistic takes from realism, in my opinion. For example, the trajectory of the world on almost every measured variable is positive and exponential, which means life for almost all of us is getting exponentially better all the time. Sometimes it's difficult to see, and the human eye is drawn towards pessimistic things many mm -hmm. times. Many, most of the vast majority of people have an inborn tendency to what, again, economist Brian Kaplan calls the pessimistic fallacy, whereas the people just will just have, especially about political events external to them in the outside world, they'll have a real nasty take. And it often doesn't transfer to personal stuff. So they'll be like, how has your life been going? They're like, my life's fucking great, I'm blessed. But how about the rest of the world? The rest of the world is shit, it's getting worse. And everywhere they go, they meet yeah. cool people, everything's great, they travel, everything's great. But then they're like, nah, everything's still circling the train. And so sometimes realism can look like insane optimism, but if you actually look at the data, like, oh, what is his name, Hans Rosling, I think, uh, has uh, like our world and data kind of shit, and you look at enough graphs and you're like, almost everything's getting better, like real fast. And then people, if you tell people that, they try to talk you out of it. They're oh, like, nah, 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 you're crazy. And so I think realism is ultra valuable because how can you not want to consult the real state of the world to align your understanding? Like if I'm trying to walk through a zoo and no one told me that the lions were out of their exhibit, <laughs> fuck man. And it doesn't matter if I'm optimistic, I'm getting fucking eaten. Mm. Now, if I'm trying to go to the zoo with my family, and I have been assured that the lions physically cannot escape, but I'm pessimistic, and I'm like, nope, they're going to get out. My kids aren't going to the zoo, ever, because the lions are going to eat us. I think a realistic take is a real, real good idea, because all of us, no matter what we think or want, we live and are created. We are fruits of the universe. We are reality.